and we are live so good evening to everyone we are on our podcast 77 with our guest okay she's from the dream Brook project okay so the title of this episode is dream big visualize and write it so i'd like to introduce the ceo of the dream Brook project miss marian clarissa medina Hello, good evening everyone. Thank you, Christina, for having me here. Hi, Marian. So how are you? I'm good. It's a busy Saturday for me. Oh, it's is a it? full day. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a full day. I woke up like around 6, 7 a.m. <laughs> okay, so Actually, so Saturday, I think, is the new, I think, Friday. (laughs) So, anyhow, so we are going to talk about, okay, visualizing your dreams and uh, turning it into a reality or trying to turn it into a reality by doing some of the prescribed steps that you will be suggesting. So, anyhow, okay, so... Can you just please give us a little bit of a background of the Dream Book Project? Ah, like how it started, Ganyan? Yes. Ah, okay. So, actually, it started out with me being a coachee. Not a coach, a coachee. Um, I was um, very excited and... Um, accelerated from graduating this life coaching program and I wanted everyone else to experience that same excitement about life so that's what birth dream book project so parang sabi ko parang ang saya pala nito mag setting mag pursue ng dreams and goals everybody should be doing this intentionally and purposefully so I created Dream book project. I created the first dream book. Yon, hanggang sa years down the road. Ngayon, dream book project, can I share, is actually transitioning into dream catcher. So, oh. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, parang, so, it's more than just the book now. So, we're doing workshops, coaching programs. Okay, so we'll try to, okay, just to for our viewers, okay, so this is, uh, these are the dream books, okay, so this one is the wire bound, okay, so it has like other designs, okay, and this is the, well, this is actually my dream book, okay, but the plastic cover, ako lang nagawa niya, okay, so, kasi ayokong, ayokong mas scratch, okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> So these are the dream books, and then uh, actually uh, they're quite nice. Okay, nice with nice and layout nila. And this is the page where it starts because with your knowing who you are and your skills and gifts. Okay, so you take a test later on. Marian will elaborate on the test. Okay, so don't look at my answers. I answered it. And then this is an explanation of the skills and gifts that you have. Okay, so that's a takeoff point of uh, the dream book. Okay, so and to the viewers here, actually, okay, it's a pleasant surprise because pareho pala kami ng grade school check high school ni Mario. Yes! <laughs> We discovered uh, that. Uh, so we are graduates of OB Montessori Green Hills. Wow. Yes. Okay. So, and Kabatcha ang brother ko. Classmate, <laughs> classmate. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so these are the dream books. Okay. And those who will ask questions will win this. Okay. As in, so if you ask a question, okay, we will send this to you free. Okay. But we're just choosing two commenters okay for this afternoon so don't hesitate and don't be shy asking the question so as you said so you had dream book you started with dream book and you were transitioning to dream catcher and dream yes. catcher is a series of workshops is that correct yes um we start with identify your gifts kasama dun yung test that you mentioned yung pinakita mo sa kanila mm-hmm. and then 
discovering your dreams, and then jump-starting those dreams. Wow! Okay, so, kasi yan yung, ano, di ba? Yan yung, uh, well, we surveyed our community members, okay, uh, a few days ago. And they want to know how to, well, first manage their career and their work, okay? And then second is how to be entrepreneurs themselves, okay? So, Perhaps uh, that workshop will also help them yeah. gain confidence, okay? And, you know, have the motivation to finally, I don't know, is that mm. a good term? Finally break free? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that would be a good term. Uh -oh. You know, parang, um, I think it will help them um, build passion-based businesses because they're going to discover what they're passionate about, what their dreams are. And um, yeah, get the courage, you know, muster the courage to pursue those businesses. So you mentioned also, Marian. So how did you become an entrepreneur? Ako believe ako sa mga mga entrepreneur kasi they have, they really have the, they're brave enough, okay, to invest in their businesses, okay, and then uh, see it through. So how did you become an entrepreneur? When did you decide that it is for you? Um, accidentally, actually, it happened accidentally. I did the dream book project, and then um, actually, I think I wanted to give it away to friends, lang eh. But mm. but my friends encouraged me to sell it, so I sold a few hundred copies, a thousand copies, hanggang uh, dumami na. And then, sabi ko, hmm, how about I register this as a formal business na? So it kind of happened step by step, and but you know, all in all, it was accidental. So by accident also. Yeah. So maganda yon ano? As in, there are a lot of people who are well, whatever they are in the present, by accident pala. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although I want to, I've always wanted to pursue business, but I thought it was going to be. Um, years down the road, you know, go corporate muna. Because that's what my dad did. He went corporate muna before um, pursuing business during his retirement. So I thought I was going to do the same thing. Now fast forward. So we'll just acknowledge, okay, those people who are saying hi, Marian. So we yeah. have... So we have one of our moderators, okay, that's uh, si Benj, okay, so he is a professor uh, from St. Paul QC, okay, and then uh, we have, uh, well, si Donna, okay, who just celebrated her birthday last March 1st. Oh, dapat magpapizza tong si Donna. <laughs> so, so, si Donna Bell, okay. Hi, guys, okay, happy Saturday. Hi. Okay, so anyhow, okay, so it's quite nice, okay, uh, we have a young, fresh-faced entrepreneur with us who will share her insights, okay, and then, so later on, we will talk about dream catcher, okay, but then right now, okay, so this one, a lot of people, okay, say that, oh, itong mga, kasi nauso yan eh, vision board, and then vision boarding, and then there are a lot of vision boarding workshops, okay? And then also yung mga bullet journals or journal, yeah. mga journaling, okay? So, do they really help? Yeah, of course. Because there's a lot of um, uh, success stories um, of people who did dream boards or vision boards, and their dreams and goals really did come true. There's a lot of that. I mean, some of them are um, popular celebrities. Oh, oh who are these celebrities? Uh, <laughs> like, there's this um, popular story. Guess, guess na nga story. Baka alam mo din to. Yung kay Jim Carrey. He wrote a check to himself. A blank check. Uh, he wrote on a blank check to himself uh, the sum of $10 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, did, I, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know about Jim Carrey, but uh, so a lot of entrepreneurs. 
I think uh, they started out. I know of an older guy. Actually, his name actually eludes me right now. But um, they started out. Okay, they wrote checks for themselves, and just to visualize it. And then actually, uh, Sylvester Stallone actually wrote his a script. Okay, for him to star in. Yeah. So, diba? those are the stories uh, that we yeah. hear, mga legends or urban legends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, totoo yun. Okay. Uh, like, one of my business partners, para closer to home, um, ginol niya, last year, kung kailan pandemic, to have um, her own art cafe. And now, it's up. It's up na. Wait, what is this art cafe? I like that art cafe. Um, I think it call, it's called King Arts. I see. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oy, maganda yun, maganda yun. Kasi yan yung mga gusto kong mga, ano, mga cafe. Like, uh, you can have a cup of coffee or maybe wine and then you can just... Yeah, it. yeah. Oh. So... Yeah. There's a question here, okay, Brenda Mano, okay, and Oy. we will read that question, okay, so from Donabel, okay, sure. so Yana, Donabel belated happy birthday, okay, <laughs> so is becoming an entrepreneur a gift, a skill, or is it just based on luck? So what can you advise people who would like to dive into a business but are very scared to do so due to several reasons. Um, I think yung, yung first, parang two questions, you know, so your first question na if it's a skill, lock, I think it's a little bit of all of those. Mm -hmm. It's a gift, yes. Um, pero it's something that can be developed. Yun na. Yun. That, tapos, yung for people who uh, want to gain the courage to start, I think um, just start small, maybe part-time mm -hmm. on the side. Maybe you can have your regular thing if, if you have a uh, regular work that gives you regular salary. Keep it, pero start something on the side. You know, start small until it becomes replacement income until the income that you earn from your business is bigger than what you are earning sa, ano mo, sa employment mo, then maybe you can dive full-time into it na. Tapos as you go along, ano, you take small steps. Ano eh, it snowballs and uh, parang lumalaki ng lumalaki yung negosyo, lumalaki ng lumalaki din yung courage mo for it. So just start small, take the first step. Yep. So start small, take the first step. Okay. And you know, because there was a question before, okay, or a comment uh, when we did our poll. Okay, so how can um, HRs okay use this uh, well use their skills to have a side business or a side gig? Okay, so you have to define because what you want. Because a side gig can be a business or another. It's another job. Okay, so it's probably difficult for HRs, especially, to have a side job or a freelancing job because. Most companies have a policy, a no moonlighting policy. So you cannot, you know, do freelancing work, okay? And besides, if you're paid freelancing or freelancing work, some some gigs, okay, would require you to present a receipt. So doon pa lang, it's a little, it's a problem because you would have to also talk to your HR and say that, you will, okay, you will be doing your taxes na because you have another source of income. Whereas, if you have a, if you have a side business, it's, it's actually more manageable to do that because the taxes, okay, you are taxed as a business, okay? So, hindi ka, alam mo yun, hindi siya mag-mix sa income mo as a professional. So, that's just my analysis of it, okay? So, And hindi siya conflict with, uh, with the HR work, no? 
with the with the policy of the company, yung no moonlighting policy. So I think at this point, kasi it depends, kasi what you de- what you say as a side gig, okay? Kasi kung yung sinasabi mo na parang small business, I think it's workable. I see, I see. Oh, oh, kasi nga separate siya, tsaka ibang iba siya sa ginagawa. Iba, iba oh, siya. Oh, oh. oh. Cannot. So I I guess uh, it's actually never too late to be an entrepreneur, okay? And then you also have to kasi think of a lot of things when you're an entrepreneur. Oh, yun na nga, how to be a legitimate business is one. You have to study that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's pretty easy. Because um, for uh, setting up my business, I did it, I just set it up myself. Oh, you yeah. did? Yeah. I did it. I did the barangay all the way up to the BIR. I just set it up myself. Inaral ko lang siya, sinag-study ko lang. So, you know, it's pretty doable. I see. Oh, it's actually, uh, you have just have to do it on your own. Kasi, number one, it's like, diba, since you're starting small, you actually need to save your capital. And then you just have to do it on your own. <laughs> Yeah. And I didn't know that I I didn't I was so new to it that I didn't know that other people can do it for you pala. Oh. So, parang, so I just assumed that I have to do it myself. So that's what happened. Ideally, okay, ideally um you can do it. Kasi yung iba, kasi kami we also did it ourselves. Eh. We were the ones who registered it, etc. Um, you just have to, because the pinakamahirap is the pila. Okay. I know. <laughs> I know. That's it. That's it, really. That's why this is the pila pins, because you will have to. <laughs> no, really, I'm. I'm really sorry for saying that, but it's really hard. Okay, it's really hard to get those documents. I mean, Sometimes you have to go like um in the wee hours of the morning just to mm. get a head start in the in the lines. Yeah. No. So so I actually I actually we actually did it okay ourselves and we're glad we did it ourselves okay because uh it makes you also because it it's actually nice to be able to um uh, discern okay and know the process of how to do it kasi nga uh, sometimes okay you have to be very smart and thrifty with your capital and if you're going to pay somebody to do it you will be able to comp- syempre ano na yan may patong na siya and you would have to pay for the service so those are ano, we also because sometimes the if you just have to ano, to wait things okay if you have the money or not or if you have the time or not to do it ganun. pero uh, the best way talaga guys to do it yourself yes marian you were saying something uh actually ngayon na uh, we're gonna incorporate kukuha na kami na <laughs> nagagawa for us. <laughs> kasi parang iba na yung setup eh. Iba na yung setup. Parang dati kasi solopreneur ako, ganyan. So, I I just did the the thing, the setup thing myself. Pero ngayon kasi parang iba eh. In, incorporation, ganyan. Tapos, parang parang hindi CEO role to do this thing myself, di ba? So, <laughs> yes. Saka yung, I can do other sure. stuff. Yes, it comes to a point kasi that uh, maybe you can delegate these kinds of things, okay, these types of things to somebody else. And if yeah. you can pay it. But yun nga, it really depends, okay, if you have the time and resources to yeah, be able yeah. to do the legwork. So, yun lang yung sinasabi natin dito. So, wala namang problema yan basta kumuha ka ng permit. Okay? Kasi yeah! Para, <laughs> para legit! Legit, di ba? Oo, uh, para legit ka. Uh, uh, so, yun lang naman yung sinasabi natin dito. Okay. okay. And then, so, we have a comment here. Okay, so... So I have lots of passion, books, home decor, gardening. So this is from Yen. And wow. I can't 
Yes, I can't pronounce her surname. Okay. So, again, you're Kovsky. Okay. So, I don't know if I pronounce it directly, correctly. So, I'll just read her um, comment. Okay. So, I have lots of passion books, home decor, gardening. So, those are her passions. Okay. I like venturing to business to a business soon in the future. So that's her retirement plan. And how will I know that the area or niche is ideal for me? Considering that all of these are already saturated and many businesses are with of the same concept. So how would she know it's the right thing for her? Kasi madami na. Yeah, yeah. Well, kailangan pag-aralan. She has to study it. Well, study. Um, maybe she can apply the ikigai concept, where um, find the intersection of where her passions and interests lie, and where that intersects with the what the market needs. Yon. Parang ganun kasi ikikaya, passion, profit, vocation, um, halo-halo. So, you you find the center of all of that. So, yeah, parang um, she has to find that, that sweet spot, that intersection where um, her skill, what she can be paid for, what she loves to do, her passion, what the market needs, and how the world can be served intersect yon. The, at the center of it that's what the japanese call the ikigai or the reason for being and i think that ikigai makes a good um makes good business sense as well not just so it's good for you personally because uh -huh. um in, in your personal life and it makes good business sense as well for i see that. Okay, so yes, uh, people have been wondering what that ikigai concept is. So, very roughly, okay. So, I'll just share a screen so that they would see it. Okay, surely. yeah. So, this is the one. And okay, so, so what you love, what you're good at, what you can be paid for, and what the world needs. The so, intersection of what you love and what you're good at, that's your passion. Tapos what you can be paid for and what you're good at, the intersection is profession, parang gano'n, and so on and so forth. Tapos the pinakagitna at the center of it all is your ikigai, the reason for the thing. Okay, so maybe quickly she can actually do a soul search, okay? And then use the dream book because we're giving you one, yen, okay? So... So those who are getting the dream books, okay, uh, the wire bound. So this one will be. So I'll, ano na, I'll jump start to it na. See Yen and Donna. Thank you for your comments and questions. Okay, get in touch with me at the end of this FB live, okay, to give me your contact information. Okay, and we'd like to say hi to an old friend of yours also. His name is, he's one of the moderators and an LP expert, uh, Luigi Manyosa. Oh, <laughs> hi, Luigi. Yeah, so yeah. he's there. Okay. He, he did he did artwork for me. So yeah, ganyan si Luigi, uh, multi-talented. <laughs> oh, hi Luigi. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, okay, so this one this afternoon, uh, Marian is here to also actually uh, explain to us the process, okay, of how the dream book can aid you, okay, in visualizing and helping you write your plans and track the progress of your plans. Okay, so I'll give the floor to Marian. Okay, Marian. So I can share screen, right? Yes, you okay. can. All right. Do um, they see it? All right. Okay. So, uh, so I just share a few slides on how these dream books and how these vision boards, journaling can work for you to. Make your dreams happen. Yeah. So I start off with a quote. 
Your playing small does not serve the world. Who are you not to be great? That was said by Nelson Mandela. So, given that your playing small does not serve the world, ask yourself, what do you really, 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 really want? If all things are possible, if time uh, was not a problem, if money were not a problem, what do you really want? So, ask yourself that. So, um, we talk about vision boards, dream boards. We talk about visualizing your dreams. And there's a page in the dream book where you can do that. A few pages, actually, where you can do your dream boards. Yeah. And we actually do um, dream boarding workshops with Dreamcatcher. So, there's two approaches to this. One is allowing. This is when you don't know what you want. Yeah, so this could be for um, uh, the youth, the teens, you know, figuring out what, where, where their places in life. Um, so, or maybe someone who has gone through something difficult, a ten, going through a transition in her life, you know, in his or her life. So the allowing, uh, the allowing, type of dream boarding can work for him or her so for to do this just surf magazines then cut out pictures that resonate with you or surf online you know you can since online maybe you can search you can use canva pinterest and or go go to the um sites with, with lots of pictures like Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay, yeah. or kind of Google Images lang, yan, yan. So, yeah, search online, surf online, and pin pictures that resonate with you, or save pictures that resonate with you, and then, you know, just lay them out nicely on the board, like this one, like and this picture. And then there's the targeted type or tar targeted approach. So for this, be as specific as possible. If you want a car uh, and you know that you want specifically a red Tesla model, ano ba yung pinaka huli? Di ko alam I think there's a model Y Tesla. Yeah, so cut out that picture in particular. I want an electric car, definitely. <laughs> pwede ba yun dito? I, I, it's just an example. Just an example. Hindi ka alam kung pwede siya sa PBS ni Payata. I've seen a couple of models in Green Hills and BJC. Ah, pwede na. Mm -hmm. Ano yun 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 charge? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, sinabanggit ko lang yun kasi I want a yellow Tesla. Yeah. In the future. And then I go off with another quote. So in between transitions, I give quotes. Um, for the ancient people of the Nile, writing something down made it real. So um, we don't just picture our dreams. We actually write descriptions about them too. So here are some tips or um, processes that you can go through. Um, first is write the goal statement or the dream statement. And then typically with goals, naman, I'm sure you're familiar with SMART goals. So make it SMART, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, time-bound. Or make it magical. So measurable, A is for both attainable and ambitious at the same time. G is for godly, I is for imaginative, and C for complete. So I won't go through too much details ah, kasi um, that would take too much time. Um, later on, if you... Yeah? Yes, for me kasi, uh, I just uh, focus on one goal, okay? And then I try to... There's one goal and then I try to put the steps, okay? So, para yeah. hindi siya complicated. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, for example, um, you have this one goal. You start with a goal statement, and then you do the what you said, Christina. Yung, yung steps. So, go through your action path, mm -hmm. or your action plan, 
yan. And then you write your milestones. Yung milestones are progress trackers to see that you're moving forward towards your dreams, moving closer towards your dreams. And then also write about your why. Journal about your why beneath your dreams. Um, kasi that's going to motivate you and that's going to help you discern uh, um, if your dream has really come to pass as you really wanted it to happen. So, for example, um, the goal is kunwari, um, a promotion or a race. Mm -hmm. The why could be to provide for your family. So, you know, maybe the uh, outer goal of re the promotion or, of, or the race might not happen, but the why of providing for the family, it might, um, that might happen through other means. Uh, promotion or race you pangalingan And then last is yung difference ng to be list versus to do list. Or, um, uh, kasi may action path ka, di ba? May action mm -hmm. plan ka. So, make sure na it's not just a to-do list, but a to-be list. Na, you're, as you pursue your dreams, you're becoming a better person. Maybe more courageous, if, you're, if we're talking about pursuing a business, perhaps. Maybe more committed, more responsible. So, yon focus on the being and not just on the doing. So, write about all of these in your journal in your dream books mm -hmm. so ayan. the moment one definitely commits oneself then providence moves to because the commit the act of doing your vision boards the act of writing on your journals about your dreams that act is an act of commitment already when you write about it that's an act of commitment already it's putting something um, in your head, something you're fantasizing about, something that you're thinking about, and onto paper, onto something tangible and concrete. So, in that sense, it's a commitment already. A commitment maybe to yourself, at the very least, if not to other people. Saka para meron ka talagang document, okay? Kasi, let's, let's just summarize, okay? I think uh, it is important to have your why, okay? Because there are a lot of distractions present in the environment. And if you have your why, this will also guide you in if, uh, for example, uh, staying true to your goals, okay? Okay, so keeping it, just being along your path. Kasi mas importante yun pagka nagsisimula ka pa lang. Kasi madaming magdi-distract sa'yo, madaming makikipartner sa'yo, madaming magi invite sa'yo. So if you have your why, okay, spelled out, okay, so at least you were able to uncover na, okay, your reason for putting up the business, okay, or your your reason for existing as a business, yun. Para meron ka ng filter, okay? Kasi madami talaga when you, as you go along, okay, setting up your business and then achieving your milestones, you will meet a lot of people who will entice you to maybe be their supplier or, you know, partner with you. So at least you would know, okay, when to say yes, no, or maybe just shelve the idea muna. Para hindi ka rin napapagastos, di ba? Na wala sa budget ko as a business owner. Actually, in decision making. Mm -hmm. So, why do the dream board, the picture, and why do the writing? Bakit parehas siya kailangan? So, the thing is, this engages whole brain thinking to catch your things. So, the... Dream board engages your right brain creativity while the writing, the verbal or the words um, employs your left brain strategy. So you get to, kasi pag pictures, it's easier to feel it. Eh. Mas madaling maka, um, makaramdam ng excitement when it's in pictures. So you get to imagine how it feels achieve your dreams so you can inspire yourself, motivate yourself. 
and you get to uh, make a concrete action plan with your left brain. So at the same time, right brain, left brain. We have both visualize and write. So, um, people sometimes ask how does this thing work? It's actually scientific. It's actually programming your um, like, siguro nag-psych ka, Christina, no? Ano? Nag-psych ka ba? Kasi you're in HR. Actually, I'm in sociology. I actually studied sociology. Kasi sociology. communication research. Oo. Uh, so, but this one, we took... familiar with this? Well, we took it up. Uh, it's uh, activating C. Young. Okay, C. G. Young. Okay, so this one is actually activating the parts of your brain. Okay, to because yeah. you need to awaken also your brain. Because what the brain can think of, okay, it actually parang dictates the body. Okay, and then your actions. Okay, so yeah. that's the work of C. G. Young. Yeah. Yeah. And um, para may internal na ganon na um, you you your brain dictates what your body does. You know, that is aligned with your dreams. And then and by outer manifestation din siya in the world. Yes. Kasi parang um, it attracts support for you, for your dreams. Actually, um, what it attracts support for your dreams when. When you do your dream boards and share share it with other people, and uh, when you write about your dreams, when you journal about it, it attracts support for it. And actually, um, ano din, hindi lang attracting, you also notice opportunities that were there all along. Alam mo yun, hindi lang attraction, yung noticing din, nandiyan na talaga siya. Kumbaga, for example, Yung, uh, there's this part of Quezon City na lagi kong nadadaan on the way to my dad's office. Mm -hmm. Dati, hindi ko pansin yung mga print shops doon, printing mm -hmm. shops doon. Kasi, yan ba? I mean, <laughs> anong pakalam ko sa kanila kasi wala na sila connection sa akin dati, uh -oh. diba? So, hindi mo siya pinapansin. <laughs> uh, so, hindi ko siya, hindi ako aware man lang. Nandun lang siya, hindi ko siya, hindi ako aware na nandun siya. Pero when I started doing this as a business, napansin ko na siya. That's the RAS at work. Kasi parang meron kasing, this is a, a belief, okay? What is internalized, what you internalize, it's actually, it gets externalized. Alam mo yun? So, it's a process. Okay. So, mas maganda you go through this, okay, vision boarding, journaling. Kasi nga, it activates scientifically, okay, uh, it's believed that it will activate parts of your brain. Okay, na natutulog. <laughs> natutulog yeah. siya. So, magigising siya. And then, somehow, okay, it aligns. Kasi when you're aligned to your goal, so parang ano yan eh, uh, domino effect, okay? Your actions, okay? Your thoughts, your thought process, and even yung ano, yung pag-manifest mo, okay? Uh, that's uh, all aligned towards achieving your goal. So that's how it works na, okay? So just to explain. Kasi tinatanong nila, is there, like, is there a science to it? Yes, there is a science to it. That's why a lot of people, even you know this at at work, di ba? And daming yung and daming mga experts na we pay as consultants, okay, to make us go through uh, management, <laughs> okay, yung MBO management by objectives, okay. So management of by objectives is what we do in the corporate world. This one, when we vision board and uh, journal and then list our smart objectives, our steps, etc. It's like saying, it's like also, also going through an MBO. Okay, so th that's the process. <laughs> wow. Uh, yun pala yung ano niya. Um, that's how it is in the HR setting. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, our HR viewers here, okay, they're so familiar with, you know, uh, the processes in the office, okay? And then I was 
well, just to say, okay, they actually said that they wanted to be entrepreneurs. And then there's another expert that we have invited, uh, Marian, but she will be uh, at the at the last day of at the last week of March, okay. And then she's and then a lot of our experts are entrepreneur and um, startup uh, experts, okay. Say, oh, bakit ano na bakit yung mga HR hi, ano na hindi nila alam kung paano mag uh, ob- goal setting and then mag ikigay eh they, this should be ano natural for you guys kasi this is what you do every day in the office <laughs> oh, okay. ba diba? pati ikaw na ba diba? uh, parang ganun din yung gano parang may observation tayo na ganun uh, pero anyhow, we're just reviewing the steps because what happens is if we have the vision boards and the uh, and the journals, okay? Because yung kadalasan we get a blank uh, cartolina and then we cut out, de ba? So at least with your product, which is Dream Books, it's already here, de ba? You can carry it with you all the time to keep yourself reminded all the time of your dreams. <laughs> Actually, I carry it. Okay, I now carry it. Well, honestly, uh, this is by accident. Because I curious ako when I bought this from you. I was, I wanted to make it a giveaway for our viewers. Okay, yeah, but, uh, yeah. since I curious ako, I opened it. And then siya hindi naman ako kasi I opened it. Tapos nasulatan ko pa. <laughs> kasi siya, di ba, sinulatan ko pa. Okay, so akin na to. <laughs> you have your own copy na. <laughs> di ba, nasilagyan ko pa ng cover. Okay. <laughs> okay, but so what else uh, do you have there, Marian? All right. Um, so, kasama na to sa mga steps on making it happen. So, uh, definitely, you have to be ready to receive. And sometimes, you know, actually writing about it, journaling about it, you know, fleshing it out in your journal, um, imagining what it's going to be like in daily life if your dream were a reality already, you know, going through what's what's your mornings, afternoons, meetings going to be like? What are your weeks going to be like if your dream were reality? Fleshing it out, writing about that helps you believe and helps you be ready to receive. So that's where journaling again comes in. And when it doesn't happen yet, ask yourself, what more do I have to learn? For this to happen and if you're already doing what needs to be done and if you're in the right direction then maybe it's just a matter of time so it's just a matter of time okay so and i think it and it's just uh it there there's always a saying and i believe in it okay i say sometimes okay um the circumstance okay uh there it might be uh, not right for you to open a business yet, okay? And then just shelve it, okay? But keep on, you know, doing some related activities, maybe um, invest in a seminar or maybe develop a skill, okay? And then maybe it might uh, happen. Yun lang yun, okay? Kasi may mga ibang ta- there is such a thing as destiny also. So, this is the non-scientific part of uh, entrepreneurship, okay? Sometimes it's destiny, it's fate, okay? Ako naniniwala ako doon. But there's also a science to it, okay? So, some there are a lot of people, they study to be entrepreneurs knowing the technical side of it, like financial statement, uh, reading financial statements, okay? Um, what else? Um, uh, doing bookkeeping, okay? Or even HR work is a technical skill, okay? So they actually do that and they have that na, okay? But it's just a matter of maybe having the right time for it and the resources for it. Yon. So habang ano tayo, may buhay, may pag-asa, okay? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. So, ano lang tayo dito? Relax lang tayo dito. So, Marian, so is that all your presentation? Um, the last slide is actually what if not? <laughs> what if it doesn't happen? For example, you do the team boarding. You do the... And actually, this is a common question that I get. Ah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I did the dream boarding, I did the journaling, but it's not happening for me. Sometimes, I, hindi naman, uh, hindi naman ano, pero I get this question sometimes eh. So, um, these are some of the answers that I give. Uh, for one, um, hindi nga ba nangyari? Baka nangyari. Um, go back to your why. The why beneath your dreams. Kasi baka nasagot yung why mo hindi lang yung what. So, baka nasagot yung, you like yung sa race, promotion, baka yung providing for the family na sasagot. Example, ganun lang. So, another thing is, kung dead end talaga, talagang not, hindi talaga nangyari, kung dead, dead end talaga, ask yourself, ito, SWWN. <laughs> so, what, what now? So, mm. Kung hindi man nangyari for you, yung, yung, binibig mo na goal. So what? And what now? What are, what are you going to do about it? And what next? Ano yung iba mo pwedeng i-pursue na games and goals? Yun. And then, maybe, uh, if, not, if it's not a dead end, maybe it's a detour. And kung detour yan, delay lang yan, just have patience. Yun nga. Just keep walking, just keep swimming, just keep at it, keep on, keep it on. And um, another thing is, if you're dead end, you need to a roadblock. Siya, maybe what you need is persistence. You see, there's this story, um, mm-hmm. sa, I think it's in the Think and Grow Rich book ni Napoleon Hill, about this guy with a, um, a gold mine. Mm-hmm. Tapos, parang nag-dry up na yung gold. So, tenray niya mag-dig, mag-dig, eh, mag-dig. Eh, wala siya makuha. Nag-stop na siya, pinenta niya. Yun pala, yung next buyer, yung feed, down. Nag-dig pa siya, nag-strike na naman siya ng gold. Leave it down lang. That's just the difference. So, maybe, persistence lang, baka three feet away lang yung dreams and goals mo. Just keep walking and ang final side ko para cute. Just keep swimming. Oy, ano tayo? <laughs> Parang finding Nemo. Okay. <laughs> Parang yeah. finding Nemo lang yan. Okay. Yeah. Diba? Pag ilang, pang ilang ano, pang ilang part na, diba, na, na, na every time naman nawawala si Nemo, si Nemo nahahanap siya. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so just keep swimming. Just so, keep swimming. Ano mo tamang tama yung analogy mo, Margaret? Kasi summer na, pwede na tayong mag-beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyhow, so what I okay, so I like your presentation. It was just light. Okay. I I think that um the question of how to be an entrepreneur. Okay. I think uh. Being an entrepreneur is actually a natural skill. Uh, ano lang, uh, inano lang natin, uh, uh, parang we just buried it, okay? Kasi, uh, syempre, yung time, may time na wala pa tayong capital, okay? So, we bury it, okay? Number two, I, I think it's not really capital, but the confidence to set out, di ba? Kasi pag entrepreneur ka, so ikaw, ta, ikaw na talaga, okay? You cannot say na there's a boss that you will ask from, you know, approval from, or di ba? Yung mga ganun sa office, di ba? Mahilig tayo, mga HR. Oh, we will have this approved muna, Okay. So, ultimate responsibility, no? That, that's the <laughs> ultimate responsibility. Oh, how about you, Marian? Are there was there any you know, time that you really felt overwhelmed with that feeling? Oh, um, uh, overwhelmed sa akin sometimes is um, 
mangyabang. Yung ano, yung hindi ko alam paano ipa-prioritize na opportunity sometimes. <laughs> mm, uh. uh, hindi, hindi, um, hindi lang opportunities, yung regular tasks din. Lalo na, lalo na dati na I was doing it so So, parang everything, yung sinabi mo kanina, yung ikaw na yung HR, ikaw yung mag-hire ng assistant, <laughs> ikaw, ikaw din yung sa, On our round. sa bookkeeping, <laughs> ikaw lahat, ako lahat, ganyan. Mm. Ngayon, mas madali na ang life kasi I have a team with me. Hello, Dreamcatcher, if you are watching. <laughs> oh, di ba? So, it took you how many years to uh, to be, to reach that stage na meron ka ng team? Actually, matagal, ah. Matagal. Oh. Kasi, um, uh, more than 10 years before I decided to make it uh, uh, a team, to make it a corporation. I see. Uh, kasi you know, right now, okay, so we have many misconceptions, okay, many myths, okay, if you are if you are a business owner, okay, so number one, okay, because of things that they read about, okay, and also uh, advice of, uh, well, it's well-meaning, but it's not really an accurate advice of friends na mahirap daw magkaroon ng empleyado. Okay, kasi madami kang mga pananagutan, okay, your obligations. So, what is your opinion on that one? Yeah, I guess that's true. Mahilap siguro talaga yun. Pero, um, with everything, there's pros and cons, there's price and benefits. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I am for being with a team rather than not. Kasi ano, it's about letting go, it's about um, surrendering, letting go of absolute control, delegating, you know, and, um, you know, having people, um, expanding the vision to other people, mm. and having pe- other people share your vision. You know, mas masaya talaga kapag with the team. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Mas masaya, lalo na kung kasama mo si Ken. Nasa <laughs> <laughs> okay. na si Ken. <laughs> ah, then, nandito siya sa, oh, sa viewers. Okay. Kasi pag, sabi ko sa kanya, he came from uh, San Pablo, Laguna, I believe. And I told him if he's driving, uh, prioritize mo na niya yung safety niya. Okay? So, ano naman, lagari din yon Okay? So, there. Uh, so, actually for me, kasi it's really, you uh, know, it's good to have a team. Kasi it makes things faster, okay? Kasi we just have to meet and then to delegate. And then as long as the instructions or the objectives are clear, uh, it, diba, people can, you know, uh, contribute, okay, towards achieving the goal. Kasi dapat talaga is like any other okay endeavor personal or professional dapat yeah. ano tayo clear tayo sa goal natin yeah. Yeah. kasi pag wala tayong goal wala tayong wala tayong direction okay wala tayong map okay pa kung saan tayo papunta okay Kahit sa love life, dapat may ano eh. <laughs> dapat may direction. goal. Oh, dapat may direction ang goal. <laughs> sabi, mo kasi per, sabi mo kasi personal, professional, ganyan. Personal. Oh, dito. Inexample uh, ko lang. <laughs> sino ba? Na, pwede din naman nila ilagay dito. Diba? Have a love life. Okay. Uh, pwede naman. <laughs> Hindi naman love lahat. letters sa kanyang soulmate. Hindi naman lahat, ano, di ba? Kailangan business ang nakalagay dito. Oo. Oh. Oh. May kilala akong mga ganyan, ha? Na nisusulat ng ano, love letters to their soulmate even before meeting them. Oo, oh, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Madami talaga. Ay, it really, ano, it, really depends okay so you start if it's a business that you need for this year okay so you start making your 
your vision, okay? Writing your vision, your goals, okay? Uh, your to-do list, so medyo nasa middle part pa yan, okay? So, ano ba ang vision mo of your life, okay? And then, how do you see yourself in five years' time? O, oh, uso yun, okay? Kasi kahit hindi lang new graduates ang gumagawa dyan. Okay, and importante talaga yan sa si business. Kasi uh, being an entrepreneur, madami ka pang, I think it's uh, the heartache or the complexities that you will uh, experience. It's much more than being an employee. <laughs> I think uh, that's an understatement. Okay, so yun. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. <laughs> So, Marian, can you tell us more about Dreamcatcher? Um, Dreamcatcher, but we actually mag invite. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Uh, we actually have a workshop for Dreamcatcher on March 20, 1 to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. And if you want to sign up, paano ko kayo? Ah, sa, sa comments siguro, lalagay ko dala yung link. Sign up. Okay. May, may sign up link ka ba? They want to register, just yeah, go to the sign up link and give us your details. That's so, okay, so that we can send you the Zoom. Yes. So on March 20, so you can actually send the link to me. Okay, and then we will we will help you, okay, get uh okay, some people who will enlist for the workshop. So is that uh is that with a discount or free? <laughs> It's free now. Now it's okay, free. guys. It's free. Okay, March twenty. Yes. Okay, yon. Actually, normally we um before nung before COVID, mm -hmm. we charge two thousand five hundred per head for that. Wow. Okay. So. so ngayon na we're doing it online and you know in preparation for the launch of Dreamcatcher, we're giving it for free. Okay. So that is on March twenty. And what time again? 1 to 4 p.m. 1 to 4 p.m. on March 20. So, guys, uh, Marian will be posting the link here. And also, Asia Shouts will be helping her post it, okay? So, uh, you can just register through the link. So, that's Dream Catcher, okay? And uh, can, so this is like a one-of-a-kind workshop. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. <laughs> Magugulat oh. sila. <laughs> oh. Sa papagawa namin. <laughs> oh, okay. So for people, kasi they actually asked, okay, so how to be an entrepreneur, okay? How do you manage your career? Okay, mga ganon yung mga questions nila. Ano, apparently, kasi the reason that uh, we invited Marian also, and we also invited a series of uh, non-HR experts, okay, in the future, okay? Uh, kasi we will be mixing HR, FB Live, and then H non-HR, FB Lives, okay? Uh, just to help you okay uh do both yun nga and uh, i'm glad that marian actually okay said yes to us okay and she's inviting us to that one of a kind okay i think that's like one i think the the workshop will try to yun na nga yun, yung mga tinatanong nila dito okay how do you do it okay what kind of guidance do we need di ba <laughs> may mga yan ata yung mga gusto na lang itanong nahihiya lang sila and that will be answered by the event yes wow so exciting so the the book okay so the dream book is just a means for you to record okay and then it's nice for you to you know, just it's actually very colorful so may mga ganyan okay and um yes and um actually uh i'm hr shouts is actually selling these okay so it's uh this one is I'll say the price now, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this the heart bound is eight hundred pesos, okay. And eight hundred eighty. Eight hundred eighty, okay. And then the wire bound is six hundred fifty. Okay. So if you're going so aside from the two that we announced, okay, earlier, so uh, this one, okay. Those who will be, those who will be getting in touch with me is also. It's not free anymore, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. there. 
So, if you're interested, okay, so we're also selling these, okay, it's our shouts, okay, so get in touch with me. And it's a nice accompaniment if you're going to the beach and enjoy maybe a lazy afternoon there, okay, and have a journal. Travel journal. Yeah, it's a travel journal. Okay, so any message to the viewers, Marian? Uh, you know what? I have another um, surprise for everyone. <laughs> Other than okay. the free workshop. You know what? To, just to give an added incentive for everyone to get their own dream books. Um, for those who purchase uh, a dream book from Christina, we're giving you a raffle ticket. Oh! Our, yeah! To our um, dream coaching program in the future. So your yeah, raffle ticket. I see. Okay. So guys, if you purchase from HR Shouts, okay, you will get the raffle ticket to a future workshop. Okay. So oh, it's a program, not just a workshop, but a full blown program. Wow. Okay. So you're going to really get the you're really going to get the full benefit of journaling and using the dream book. Oh, that's great, Marian. Uh, that's good news. So that's to help you guys, okay, because you've been requesting, okay. So it's not about getting rid of your boss, okay? It's <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to get rid of your boss, okay? We're going to help you, okay, uh, maybe. Uh, go through a series of workshops or a program, okay, to unlock yung sinasabi ng ni Marian, that, that, that thing in your head, okay, uh, that, you know, that's really causing, causing the roadblock, okay, whatever it is. We cannot really explain it to you because it's something that happens to you internally. Yeah. Um, Christina, I, I don't know if I can invite them as well to you know, like let's keep on inviting them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean um, because we've been doing trainings with um, with corporate, with schools, like so. And these are HR professionals in uh, HR shouts and whispers. So I'm wondering if I can invite them to sure check out. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, we actually we've given. Um, trainings to companies. Uh, we've done customized dream books actually for the likes. Pwede ko kayo sabihin. We've given customized dream books for the likes of Nestle and Rustans. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, parang if you want customized dream books for your companies or if you want trainings, workshops for your comp for your employees, you know, happier employees make pr more productive employees. <laughs> so, kung basta kailangan lang ma-align yung personal and professional goals nila. What we do here, kasi, uh, this is what we do in HR Shouts, okay? So, actually, okay, we are actually supporting and interviewing a lot of coaches, okay? And, of course, uh, or groups like what you do, okay, Marian? Because we want uh, our HR professionals to have enlightened choices, okay? Uh, they might use this for their organization or they might they might use it for themselves, okay? Because the reason that, one of the reasons that I actually established HR Shouts, because when I was an HR practitioner, it was, well, I'm sorry for uh, saying this, but I wanted to, sometimes when you are in an organization, medyo young, millennials, okay, it's hard to get uh, training that really catches their, you know, what, you know, catches what they like, okay, or provides the atmosphere that they want, okay, so that's why uh, when we establish HR Shouts, okay, we're interviewing, you notice that uh, we are coaches ourselves and we're interviewing other coaches, okay? It's because it's a support system, okay, that we want to give because we want HR professionals or admin professionals to have a selection and choices to give to, to present to their organizations, okay? So at least we have 
this your group okay so if you want a different flavor to a workshop okay you can also maybe try to inquire about okay marian's group of uh marian's programs okay so that's it so there's really uh it's not a competition okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, we believe in abundance for everyone. Yes. And besides, okay, um, you know, I we get to have okay, uh, some uh, light topic in the afternoon or in the evening, and it actually expands our mindsets. So that's enough, okay. That's also enough for some people, okay, to to have their mindsets or a different perspective on something, diva. Right? So. That's why, that's what we aim to do for HR Shouts, okay? And I'm glad that uh, you actually said yes to our invitation. <laughs> Thank you also for inviting. It was a fun, fun interview. Yes. And ako, ah, hindi ko talaga, kasi when I saw your profile, ako, pareho pa kami ng high school at grade school, <laughs> di Mar. <laughs> And related, uh -oh. no? Small Such a small school. world. Anyway, yes. so... Yeah, so so do we have questions? So actually, they're saying, okay, so Donna reacted. Okay, hi, ako, super print na ako nito, then cut, then paste on sheets of paper, then paste on my bedroom wall. So I can see my dream when I wake up and before sleep. Yes. So, but he, she says, okay, so this is a great podcast, okay, shedding positivity in this time when everything is just so uncertain. Okay. So, even before the pandemic, Donna, things were uncertain. It was just highlighted by the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. So, anyway, Morgan, so... So you have the so you have the link, okay, to that one of a kind workshop, okay. So that's free, and then if they buy from me, okay, so they will have a raffle to a program, okay. So thank you for giving us those gifts, okay. We're Yay. very thankful for that. And what are your parting words or final words? Uh, or tonight lang, ah, kasi we're going to talk pa. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, pwede bang balikan na lang natin si, ano, si, si Dory. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sige, balikan natin si, si Dory. Uh, yeah, just keep swimming, just keep, you know, just keep keeping, keep on keeping on. I know it's, these are, you know, unprecedented times. It may be difficult for a lot of people. Pero, you know, tuloy lang yung laban. Oh, sinasabi ka nila, fighting, okay? Mag-fight lang, okay? So, sa akin naman, I actually like uh, Dory, okay? Uh, because she reminds me of a very innocent, diba? She's very innocent and then she's very helpful, diba? And, okay, so whatever happens, she's like, you know, just swimming and swimming and swimming. So, that's okay with me. And, also, okay, whatever happens, okay, kung ano man ang mangyari, I always believe, okay, one of my mentors said, okay, and it's his favorite line, okay, so keep your head above water, okay, para hindi ka mag -trout. okay. That's related, ah, uh, related. Oh, so, uh, related siya, <laughs> water. <laughs> kasi, kasi na gano'n na ako, nag-visualize nag na ako na pumunta sa beach, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so but yes okay so this was a fun fun chat with you marian okay and uh well uh we just have to say good goodbye temporarily okay so yes we want okay good evening and have a nice dinner okay and then for those who won today's uh, dream books okay just get in touch with me give me your contact information because we're going to ship them to you okay so without further ado i just have to say goodbye bye bye